Shin here. And with everything that's going on right now in the world, I think it's about time we chilled out a little bit. Although I have a feeling this won't be just a cool breeze. We have the DLC involved here. So female dwarves, some other bits and bobs. And, uh, let's get to it. we caught here. Okay, so it looks like we might just have to uh, do our whole tree again. Yes, we only start off with the basics. this hostile environment, um, let's take a look around. I see ice, I see little yeti people. Angry bird. More zombies in this area. Okay, so outside of the ocean, it looks like all of our water is frozen. I'm not sure what the uh, snow is going to play a role in. Oh, Sarah Chick was here. Look at our little kids. And that's new. Okay. So one thing we're going to have to uh, do fairly soon. I know they're going to be coming up over here. So we need to get sheltered out. female. Okay. Definitely gonna want some of these. I think the sooner we get underground, the better. Sand out. I'm not used to uh, really moving so slowly anymore. And it looks like we've got all of the same uh, things as before. And monsters. Nope. 
these, however, um, the owl cat. Neither cat nor an owl, just another pet to help the dwarves in their adventures. And the frogalisk is another pet we can uh, tame. This creature is an incredible mix of a frog and reptile. It serves the dwarves as a faithful companion and a green for their shelter. So yeah, once we get the necessary resources, we can actually uh, build one of those. Or not build, but uh, create. Lock for which we don't have the materials for yet. I'm just going to make this very interesting. Is that we don't uh, we don't have to create a lot of the things we had to create before in order to get this working. Fill those back in. Our goal be is to uh, create a small home here. But, uh, I'll just have to see how it goes. Should probably make a floor there. ladders. <laughs> and are they going to attack? Yeah. Nice little hovel if we can 
get a build before we get attacked. Got room for a couple doors there. It's nice security, although there that doesn't problem. Like I said, the main's exposed. So we're definitely gonna have to do something about that. Hurt. Instead of imagine. I keep running low on uh, dirt here. It's not a good thing. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, we've got the option of wooden walls. Excellent. Cheetos. So these two apparently have no interest whatsoever in taking care of that guy. But we have a logger and a fisher. So let's give you some carpentry. I love the idea of let's get away that. I love the idea of combining the two skills. Same thing with mining and smithing. Just seem to work so much better when paired. Put temporary light there. The ghosts at least just toss stuff around, they don't really steal anything. Although it's still annoying. Great, now there are two of them. Oh. Okay, so apparently they need actual weapons. Uh -huh. Let's get those two cracking up there. Should probably start working on these things. So let's see, what do we need to craft? Table. Need more wood. Always needing more wood. Looks like there's a tunnel in there. Might have to check that out. cleared out so we can start building. Snow 
is considered a building block. That's interesting. Very weak durability though. Go get him, Simone. Hunger! I love how she hacked away and he's just poking at it. Let's take a look in the back while we're waiting for them to load things up. I love this little settlement down here. Up there, back there. It'd be interesting to see if we could duplicate that over in uh, Creativeverse or something similar. Mind you, considering they're round, it'd be more difficult. But I might be able to choose something. See anything else of great interest over there? Oh, a little community. It's almost like a little telegraph pole there. Certainly a cave down there. We'll run into it eventually. For now, we need to build the workbench. And I'm going to have to actually fill out the blueprint. Yay. There we go. One blueprint finished. I'm gonna have to do all of this all over again. Give, uh... Wait, where's the. I know we've got more iron. Give this to Simone. Since she's our, uh, our lumberjack. We need the forge. Okay, we've got the forge. So let's put the forge out there. We're going to need more plants. Feeling plants are going to be in limited supply around here. Forge. I'm giving you this axe. You are going to get the axe. Ah, that was not what we needed. Of course not. It was the workbench. We need the forge. What am I thinking? Okay. So you're not getting the axe yet. I can give you a stone axe. It's better than nothing. Cheaper too. So yes, we'll give you both. And um I'll also give you both a couple of uh pickaxes because pickaxe. There we go. And what do I... yes, I, I had a feeling. Okay. They still have no weapon, but at least they uh, do better damage and more construction. Speaking of which, let's 
go over here and see if we can get an eye into there. Can I steal your tree? I'm gonna steal your tree. Lovely lady, Adi, 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 Adi. Oh no! And the hunter's book. Okay. Well, first things first. She needs some tools too. Can't discriminate here. So we need more stone. Okay, we'll get that in a moment. Place that. Place that. Uh, we'll just go this far. I don't trust this stuff yet. Not until we can get some stone wall, maybe. One thing that seems to have happened, they appear to have increased the overall. Um, oh, that is a cave. They seem to have increased the overall hit points of the females, which is very nice. From what I remember, originally they were faster, but they also had fewer oh, yeah. hit points. It was only two hots as opposed to three. Yeah, that's a good improvement. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so yeah, she was happy about that. To the space. This will end up being a floor. I love how I'm just digging way down into all of this. What do you skills? Oh, you're a carpenter. Okay, so we've got two carpenters. I'm able to give her an axe, at least. I'll have to give her a pickaxe a little bit. In theory, you could probably specialize and only give them the tools that they need for their particular careers, but I've never liked to typecast people. I'd rather just uh, give them a bit of everything and let um, them go. Okay, we need a forge for that. And we're still short. We need water, coal, and stone. Might be some underground, might be some from rain. Might be able to make use of the ice blocks, I'm not sure. For now, the goal is just to get us uh, a door. <sighs> Which we're going to need to find out about that, so yes, let's grab that. <laughs> I love how those little yeti things have the same sounds as uh, the goblins. They're obviously not goblins. Does 
not count as water. This is going to be difficult. Oh no, we can't build the cooking camp pot. Er, camp pot. We can't build the cooking campfire without the pot. We can't build the pot without the forge. So obviously, melting the ice is not an option. At least not yet. And we still can't do that because we do not have the option of building a wall without the forge. So this is already turning out to be a very difficult level, and we haven't even started yet. Oh dear. And we don't have snow. We have... We don't have rain, we have snow. We're supposed to do this. Let's give you your tool because, well, I keep forgetting about it. There must be some way to get water. And we start off with zero coins, too. Oh. Now that is the uh, development I was not expecting. So basically, we are literally starting this off practically from scratch. We've got two levels of technology. And in return, the snow grows. Well, <laughs> admittedly, we're approaching the thirty minute mark, and we have hardly accomplished anything yet. Yes, we definitely, uh... <gasps> Basic processing processes ice! Oh! So we need to get our iron work. We can't do our iron working properly. Okay. We're being taunted here. So literally we cannot advance anything more than the woodworking. Until such time as we can figure out what to do about the ice. Looks like we have piece of furniture, which is nice. Okay. Well, I think that's about going to wrap it up for this episode. Even though we've really got nothing done. Okay, that thing over there was a totem. I was wondering. Alright, so we haven't really achieved much. We've got a hollow down here that we will be building our vocal in. However, we don't have an actual door. We can build a wooden hatch. Okay, let's build a wooden hatch. Oh, we have to actually wait for them to build a wooden hatch. Wait, where are you going? Um, we kinda, we kinda need that. Oh. I tell ya, you can, you can lead a dwarf to water, but you can't make him drink. How much would it cost for us to actually purchase the water? I'm afraid. Oh, one point for five. Okay, well, let's get us some water.
got ourselves a new uh, new member of the party. Good place to stop as dawn approaches. Next time we will actually get our door up and uh, make some progress on building our little home. Hopefully get some technology done. So until next time, try not to freeze your little patootie off. And I'll see you all again very, very soon.